All right, hi guys, this is Mr. Wilder, and I'm coming to you live from the Wilder Dining Room. And uh, tonight I want you to uh, review a little bit about inelastic and elastic products. Uh, this is something we've talked about in class for a couple days, and uh, we'll use uh, today's homework to review that, and uh, there'll be a few problems for you to answer on the document that uh, goes along with this video. Uh, so to start with, we have uh, four products out here, or five products out here. Um, in a little bit, we'll try to determine whether these are elastic or inelastic products. But if we want to try to uh, go back over what, what it means to be an elastic product and what it means to be an inelastic or non-elastic product. And if you remember from our discussion, um, an, an inelastic product or non-elastic product is a product that doesn't respond to price. Okay? When I say it doesn't respond to price, that means we're going to buy it no matter what the price is, whether the price is high or low. Okay? Usually it's a product that is a necessity, something we have to have, and it's something that doesn't really have a substitute product that we could go to uh, that we might be able to find it cheaper or whatever. Uh, so uh, that would be what we'd call a non-elastic product. An elastic product on the other side of the spectrum is a product where if the price changes, our demand for it does change. Okay? Uh, so if the price goes up, for instance, we probably won't want as much of that product. And when the price goes down, we might buy more of it. Okay? So it does really respond to price. And uh, the, uh, the idea here is, again, an elastic product is a product that uh, doesn't really, if the price changes, it's going to affect whether we want it. Okay? Non-elastic product, if the price changes, it doesn't affect whether we want it or not. So let's, let's think about these products up here. We've got product A, B, C, D, and E. Okay? And uh, while we're going through the, through the video, I might have you tell you to stop the video for a second and answer the first question or the second question that's on the document. Um, our first product here is uh, the, the gallon of milk or half gallon of milk, and that's product A. And I want you to take a second and think about whether that would be an elastic or a non-elastic product or an elastic product. And uh, again, think about milk. Is it something we have to have? Um, is there something that has a lot of substitutes? Okay. And does it respond to price or not? Okay. Now take a second and then go ahead and answer on the uh, doc on the form whether that is elastic or inelastic. All right. Our second product B here is the toothpaste. Take a second and think about that product whether it is elastic or inelastic, and then go ahead and answer the question on the form. Question number two. All right, our third product here is medicine, and that's product C. And again, think about that product. Is that something that's elastic or inelastic? And then go ahead and answer the question number three on the form. Our next product here is the Diet Pepsi. And Diet Pepsi is, is product E, or product D, and then Go ahead and look at your form and answer the question number four, whether that product is elastic or inelastic. And our last product here is E, it's the banana. Take a second and think about the banana, whether that it would be elastic or inelastic. And answer question number five. All right. Let's review and decide whether these are elastic or inelastic products. Hopefully you have your, your uh, form submitted now. The product number A, or letter A, was the milk. And let's think about milk. Is there a lot of products that you can replace milk with? If you think about it, there's really not. I mean, there's other things you can drink, but milk is a pretty specific product that, for instance, kids need and that a lot of recipes call for. So even if milk does go up in price, we're probably still going to buy it. We might try to look for ways that we can not use as much milk, but we're still going to buy milk. So that makes it more of an inelastic product. Product B was the toothpaste. And toothpaste, uh, again, is kind of a necessity. It keeps our teeth clean, keeps our breath smelling fresh. And again, if the price does go up on toothpaste, we're probably still going to use it. Now, if it goes up so much, maybe we're going to try to find something else to use, whether it's baking soda or something like that. But for most of us, if we go into the store, and even if it's gone up 20 cents, 30 cents, maybe even a dollar, if 
if we need some toothpaste, we're going to buy it because we want to have clean teeth and we want to have good smelling breath. So toothpaste would be inelastic B. Product C was the medicine. Again, uh, if, if this is a medicine that you really need, that's necessary for your quality of life, uh, you're probably going to go ahead and buy it no matter what the price is, right? So this is another example of an inelastic product. Okay. Product D was the uh, Diet Pepsi. Now Diet Pepsi, just like milk, is a drink. Uh, it's something that we drink, and, uh, but it's a little different than milk. It's not really a necessity. Plus, there's other substitutes that we can drink besides Pepsi, right? We can, we can drink Coke, we can drink Gatorade, we can drink uh, water, fruit juices, all kinds of different things we can drink to substitute for the Diet Pepsi if it went up in price. So if Pepsi does go up in price, we're probably not going to drink as much of it because we don't have to. Okay? Um, that's a little bit different than milk. And uh, again, there's a lot of substitutes that we can substitute uh, for the Pepsi. Okay, so Pepsi, Diet Pepsi would be more of a elastic product. It does respond to price. Our last product was the banana. Okay, uh, bananas are, are a fruit that we don't have to have. It's not like you're, you have to eat a, a banana every day or every other day or whatever. So there's other fruits we could eat to substitute for a banana, whether it's strawberries or pineapples or uh, apples or whatever. So there's lots of different fruits we could substitute for it. If the price of bananas went up, went up significantly, odds are we would start buying less bananas. Okay, um, unless for some reason, you know, maybe you're a monkey, uh, but otherwise you wouldn't. So, uh, bananas are more of an elastic product. Okay, it does respond to price, and kind of if price goes down on bananas, maybe we're going to buy more of them. That's another example of why it's an elastic product. Okay. So milk, inelastic, toothpaste, inelastic, medicine, inelastic, the pop, elastic, and banana, elastic. Hopefully this was a good review for you. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you get that uh, form submitted, and I'll see you tomorrow.